Hey guys, we are super excited to announce our new Pretty Presets Film Bohemian Collection. It's pretty amazing and it really sets itself apart from our other Pretty Presets collections. So you guys are really used to seeing some rich, colorful, beautiful presets, soft pastels, um, clean presets, just a, a lot of that that mix in the, the different preset collections that we offer. This one is a bit different and very, very cool with the fact that we made a collection that really represents the more moody um, edits that you've been seeing a lot of lately. So you're gonna see a lot of hushed color tones, some deeper and darker tones. Again, just more of that overall moody look. Now, of course, there is a very nice mix of different looks in our film Bohemian collection, and we know you guys are going to love it and have so much fun playing with this collection, and um, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what this amazing collection can do to uh, a few images that we have to play with today. Um, okay, so we're going to start off with this gorgeous image of a couple posing outdoors. And real quick here, before I jump ahead of myself, we're just going to look at our film Bohemian collection here. So obviously, uh, while the collection has that more that moody, that Bohemian um, look to it, it is still a film collection, so you're going to see those cooler greens and that, that filmy tone in some of the presets here. So in this collection, there are 25 different beautiful film bohemian presets. Um, and we're gonna take a look at them here in just a moment, I promise. Um, and you're also going to have your Pretty Film Toolkit. This toolkit is amazing. It makes it super easy to change your exposure, change your contrast. You can bring it up, bring it down, add some grain to those images. You can tone your highlights, your shadows, your white balance. It's all here in your bonus toolkit. Um, which makes it super easy to make those changes. And let's go ahead and take a look here. Now, we're gonna look at a before and after of this image. Look at that nice filmy look. I've already added the serendipity preset, but we're gonna do another real quick before and after here because I simply cannot help myself. These are so much fun. Take a look at this before and then after, bam. Gorgeous beautiful, flawless, bohemian edit. And it's definitely got a lot of that film in there. Um, moody, rich, uh, one click and you're done. Now, of course, you can make changes here in your panel as is with all of our presets. Um, another thing you want to look at here, and we'll go through some, uh, some additional edits, is if the exposure isn't quite right out of camera or the white balance isn't quite right, you'll definitely want to fix that before adding a preset. Something that's really great with these presets is that we don't touch the exposure or the white balance in the actual preset itself. So if you want to adjust that, you can definitely take the exposure down or bring it up. Uh, same with the the contrast and the white balance and so on. So sometimes you'll notice that needs added before you add the preset. Sometimes you, you might pick a preset and realize hmm, maybe the white balance looks off and fix it after. Um, but just a, a cool quick tip there. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at some additional images that we have. Um, this one, I'm just going to bring the exposure up. It's backlit, so... Um, of course, you're going to have to bring that up just a little bit out of camera. And let's go ahead and add Calypso. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this. Aren't you guys? Okay, we have some additional really great images and edits to go through here. So with this one, again, I'm seeing that the exposure needs to be adjusted. So I'm just going to bring that up. Scroll down here a little bit. Okay, I'm really liking that. And I do want to bring up the contrast just a bit here, just to cut through that haze a little bit. And let's go ahead and run Cassis on this one. And again, look at the gorgeous creamy colors in this image. You're getting really some of those darker, richer tones in this edit. 
And I'm loving how simple it is to achieve this look with just one simple click, guys. Look at that, before and after, amazing. Gorgeous creamy skin tones. I didn't have to make any adjustments or use a brush uh, at all to get this creamy skin complexion that you're seeing. Gorgeous, guys. Okay, so who's ready to take a look at a black and white edit? These are sometimes my favorite. They're a, a lot of fun to do. Um, so let's go ahead and try Twilight on this one. Twilight black and white. Bam. Gorgeous. I love it. Um, let's see another black and white that we have here. This time we're going to try, um, uh, here we are, Moonbeam black and white. That's so filmy and so creamy and so moody all in one click. Um, uh, it's just too much for me. It's amazing. Um, so... Now I want to make this a little bit more edgy. I'm going to add some grain. And you have different levels of grain here. So obviously one is going to be the least grainy. And the further you go up here, it's, you're going to add more and more grain. Uh, I'm going to stick with three. And you can see the grain that's adding to the image. Very nice. Okay, what else do we have for you guys? Let's go ahead and edit this gorgeous image. I kind of want to adjust the white balance real quick on this one. And I'm going to use the daylight sunny white balance here. Okay, notice how that warms up the image, kind of corrects the white balance that was going on. And let's go ahead and try mica. I'm loving it. Can you tell I'm having so much fun here, guys? Um, so another before and after because they are super cool to see. I know how much you guys love them. Um, okay, so let's keep going. We're on a roll. Now, this is the first one that we edited. So much fun. One quick click and we were done. Um, let's go ahead and edit this ballerina here. And let's see. Let's go ahead and use chai. Wow, look at that. It's so classic and so clean. One quick click and we're done. We are zooming through these guys. Can you imagine editing an entire session and getting that perfect uh, filmy, bohemian color tone throughout the entire edit like I am here? You guys are seriously going to have so much fun playing with this collection. And when you can edit a session and have fun at the same time, that's definitely a win-win situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit this image. I do want to bring up the exposure uh, some. So I'm going to go to my amazing Pretty Film Toolkit and let's bring it up quite a bit here. I'm going to bring up the contrast as well. And we are going to run Spirited. Bam. Look at this. I'm loving it. Okay, another before and after. Look at that rich creaminess. Beautiful skin. I know you guys can really tell how excited I am about this collection and you'll definitely get some of that feeling once you start playing with the collection as well, I guarantee you. Uh, so let's go ahead and edit this image with Dreamcatcher. That'll be a fun look. There we go. Look at that. Look at the cool greens going on in the background. It just really flows and looks so timeless and classic. The entire set really flows nicely with that same gorgeous, filmy, bohemian look. So check this image out. Aren't those guys cute? And we're about to make them look just a little bit cuter here, if that's at all possible. So just a little bit dark of an image. So we're going to bring up the exposure. And whoops, there we go. Let's see, plus 75. Okay, I do want to bring up the contrast a bit as well, and we're going to bring it up to 40. Look how we brighten it up nicely and cut through that haze. Um, super simple. You want to, especially if you're shooting raw, you want to brighten up the image, cut through the haze, um, and then add on that, that final look, which would be the preset. I'm looking at the image, and I do want to correct uh, the white balance as well. So I think I'm going to try uh, a daylight filter and um, let's see here there we go daylight sunny we're just gonna warm that up a little bit and let's go ahead and run aura 
Okay, I'm loving it. Now here you can see where the white balance still looks off a little bit. And that's a super, super simple fix. So I'm just gonna go over here and I, I can already see that it's too green. So instead of clicking around to readjust, I'm just gonna bring my tint uh, white balance slider over and just add some magenta so that it combats, combats the green. And voila, that is amazing. Such a gorgeous edit. Um, if you wanna see the before and after, Look at the beautiful colors, very earthy, filmy, just screams bohemian all over. That was super simple to do. Um, we had a ton of fun creating this collection for you all, and we're super, super excited to introduce it to you guys. Um, we know that it is a bit different, which makes it all that more exciting uh, of a collection that than what we have offered in the past. So this one is our little baby and we've spent a long time creating this beautiful collection for you guys and we're so excited for you to try it and share it with um share it with us share it with the community and we hope you love it and have just as much fun with it as uh, we had while making this collection thanks guys